the first thing when setting up a vision board, right, you got to come up with a magical number, a number that is like so far-fetched of what kind of income you want to make each and every year. And now that income could be a hundred thousand. It could be, it could be two million, three million, four million, five million. But what I want you guys to do is to use your imagination on what would be a comfortable number to fulfill your lifestyle. Um, you know, whatever lifestyle you want, vacations with family, it could be, you know, cruises, um, you know, birthdays they never had, you know, bigger homes, boats, cars, it doesn't matter, right? Now, I want to want you guys to focus on exactly what that number would be, all right? My magic number is $2 million. So, I want you to choose an income amount. It's a living that you will, that will accommodate to the lifestyle that you want, all right, so when first starting a vision board, we got to think about what lifestyle we want, right? Even before you start your business, even before you do anything, or, or even if you, it doesn't matter what it is, a performance or a advancement on a job, um, it doesn't really matter. Um, but when it comes to a vision board, it's super powerful because you can see your future, right? You can see material, you things, see material, things materialize literally in front of your face just by making a vision board and having things to put on your vision board or vision wall, right? And so I use vision boards, I use vision boxes, I, I try manifesting things, you know, just through, just through positive, uh, just positive energy and putting it out there. And so there's going to be a few steps we're going to be going over when we do a, a vision board um, that I want you guys to do if you guys decide to do a vision board. You know, it's, it's highly suggested because there's not too many million out, millionaires out there that do not have a vision board, um, if not multiple vision boards. It could be a vision board about a specific project or your entire life, right? So, with that being said, I ch we chose me and my wife. She's actually here. She's just a little camera shy. Hi. Um, <laughs> either way, um, we're here tonight to show you guys exactly what we did, how we put it together, and you know maybe I'll help you guys out with a small vision board just to start. All right. So we took a two million dollar um, number as far as what we want each each year um, to live off of. Okay. Now it may change, but right now I can perceive. I could see $2 million per year in our future, all right? Now, it's not going to happen tomorrow. Now, it's going to happen next, you know, next six months. You know, it's a two-year plan. And so, on my two-year plan, it's $2 million a year, all right? And so, can we move this out of the way? Since we're going to be having a vision wall instead of a vision board. So, we're actually going to utilize this entire wall um, right here. And I'm actually going to decorate my office as a huge vision board, all right? As you know, we're going to be putting down unrealistic things, right? Like, you know, these buses uh, for travel, all these things, you know, different places for, you know, eating out, adventure, all that stuff, right? Of our wildest dreams, you know, Amsterdam, um, Dubai, all these places uh, that we, we want to go to that we never thought we would be able to, right? So we're going to put these unimagined, like these things that are just so far fetched on our vision board, right? Those are our dreams and our goals. And we're going to start there at the highest level of what we think we could possibly make per year or what would be comfortable for us as living with our lifestyle. And then as we grow in our business or as we grow each day, we'll come up with ideas. And it could be smaller goals. It could be smaller than a bus. It could be like maybe um, manifesting possibly or like you're looking into a raise of your job or manifesting out of your job into a side hustle or whatever it may be. It can just get be smaller. But we want to use a, a large amount for $2 million is what mine's going to be. Yours can be 100000 It doesn't matter. Either way, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right. So what we did was um, we, we, both of us, we sat down and we thought about what uh, our number was. It was $2 million and what kind of lifestyle do we want, right? So the first thing we did, right, we got, we made up some stuff on Canva. It says $2 million, right? That's going to be our first thing. And what we're going to do is she's going to have a pen. I'm going to have a pen, and we're going to sign our name to it, all right? So this is going to be what we're shooting for, right? This is our two-year goal. Within two years, I want to make $2 million a year. That's my goal. Now, it sounds far-fetched to some people. To me, it sounds like it's probably not enough. But either way, start out with your goal. So we're going to sign our names to this, right? We're signing our names. We're putting... Our only thing that we have for our name is our name and basically time that we can't get back. So we're going to sign our name to this goal of $2 million within two years. All right? So I'm going to put my name on here. And then we're going to put the date as well. Forgot about that. All right. 22nd? Yes. 21. Okay. 
So now we got the date, we got our $2 million is what we're shooting for, because that's the first thing we want to do is we want to find the target number, all right? So now we're going to place this on the wall. So this is going to be our $2 million per year. We're going to hang this on the top. That's what we're shooting for. This is the bad boy, right? This is what we want to manifest, right? Now we got to think, okay, what's going what's gonna to be in our lifestyle, right? What are we going to live in, okay? That's our next thought. We're going to be using our imagination with this, guys, everything. It's actually, it was really fun sitting down, uh, investigating and trying to find different, you know, houses and just stuff out that, you know, you know, $3 million, $10 million homes. Stuff that, you know, you would only sit down and imagine about, right? And we want to make that come become a reality, right? So what we chose, if you want to show them, um, yeah, go show them. So go ahead and read it to them. It's a 6,500 foot square square foot house, 2.5 million, and it's in Kalispell. Okay, so we chose, show both cameras. So we, we chose both, uh, we both chose this house, right? This is the house, that our dream house that we want to live in, all right? So now we think, you know, what's the first thing we can do after we get our money? We want to probably buy a home, right? Or something like that, right? After we pay off our debt, obviously. So this is going to be our next objective, right? Is our home, right? So that's what we're looking for. We're looking, we're looking to get, make $2 million a year on our vision, and we're also going to be looking for the 6,500 square foot, $2.5 million Kalispell, Montana home, all right? And per month, we uh, looked up the, the averages. It'd be about $5,000 per month on that bill, all right? And then here's the layout. I want you guys to get so specific. Oh, we got to sign our name to this. So we got to sign our name to it, guys. And then the date. All right, so once we sign our name to it, because we're, we're bonding it in, we're locking that in. Can we get some shares? Can we get some likes? If you guys are seeing value in this, can you guys please give some likes and shares? Because this, this stuff does work, man. This, there's not, find a millionaire out, out there that doesn't have a vision wall or a vision board, right? So now we're going to put this up there as our home for $2 million, but we want to base it on, right? Now, we're thinking, okay, here's the plan. So we went, went as far as finding the plans for the home. Right, so we got the outline, the plans, all that stuff, how many square feet, right? We were actually imagining us ourselves being inside this home. When we close our eyes, we visualize this home. When we close our eyes, we visualize $2 million a year, right? There's nothing, there, nobody can tell me nothing about it. I can literally close my eyes and, 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 and watch my path all the way to $2 million a year. And even the, even the, the, the blueprints to the house, it's just locking it in even more, right? We're putting that energy back in there. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna, yeah, we gotta sign this one. So we're gonna sign this bad boy. We got a whole list of stuff, guys. You guys stick around. We got a whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of ideas. So we got just, it's gonna be an hour's worth of pinning stuff on the wall if you guys wanna join us. You will need a cleaning person. Oh, okay. Oh, I got that. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We'll get to that. Okay, so we're gonna put this behind the house just for, for purpose reasons, but we already know this is part of the home. So we're going to stick this bad boy behind the home. That's the plans for the home. All right? Now, I could have went crazy. Turn that down to me if I can mm -hmm. echo. Sorry about that. So um, now, it, it sounds crazy. It's only 6,500 square feet. You know, there's 10,000, 20,000 square feet houses out there without much more. But I think that would be comfortable for our pool table, our ping pong table, our game room. The stuff that we don't, you know, want to have to go to the movies for, or go to the arcade. We can go to our bowling alley if we want to. So that's what we want, right? So now that we got our home out of the way, all right, we got to think, okay, what kind of budget do we need each month to accommodate our toys, our homes, or our home, whatever? Um, what kind of budget would we need each month to make? Not not make each month, but bring in each month to utilize. Just you know, as a number. So we chose hundred thousand dollars a month, right? Now you're thinking to yourself, Eric, that's an awful lot of money to live off of for one month, right? What are you going to do with $100,000 in one month? All right, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. We're going to sign this bad boy first. We're going to lock it in. Okay, so we're going to be spending $100,000 a month on our goal. All right, so we're going to put that up on the wall, right? And you're like, Eric, okay, what kind of toys are you going to be talking about? What kind of house are you going to be talking about? What kind of cars? What kind of, you know, fun? What kind of vacations? What kind of stuff are you talking about, Eric? All right, so for recreation, we got $10,000 a month on recreation, all right? Now, 
you're like, Eric, that's an awful lot of money in reparation. Yes, it is. But we're leaving ourselves enough buffer. So whatever money that is left over after the $10,000 each month, whatever's left over, it's going to carry over to the next month. And we're just going to fulfill that $10,000 pot. And it's just going to keep carrying over. Right? And then when we get to a million dollars on the carryover, right, that's going to be going into another fund or another investment or something like that. Right? So it's going to be going into something, charity or something like that. It could be going into our, you know, children or more property investment. But basically everything that carries over after the $10,000 will just carry over to the, the next month. So we only might spend $2,000 that month in at recreation, right? Um, you know, we got dirt bikes, we got all that other, other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So that's part of our recreation, dirt bikes, boating, right? So we're going to give ourselves a $10,000 budget on recreation. So we're going to go ahead and sign our names to it. Okay. We're locking it in and we're going to put it up here. All right. So we're thinking about recreation. What are we going to do for fun, right? 10K a month. Or we're going to put, actually we'll put recreation right here. It's fine. Actually, you know what? Do you think we should put the house stuff together? Okay, we'll just do this like this. I just want to keep it organized. So recreation is going to be right here. Right? Now, recreation could be considered boats, cars, dirt bikes, whatever, right? Because, I, you know, I love dirt bikes, right? I love dirt bikes. So, this is the 2022 CRF Honda, and I even went down to the SKU, right? I even broke it down to exactly what model it was, what year, right? How much it cost, all right? So I broke it down on this dirt bike as far as how much it costs, right? So I know visually I want this dirt bike and this is the number I got to achieve. Okay, this is the dirt bike. That's the number I got to achieve, right? And th even though she is, this is not her vision, it's our vision, right? So this is not something she's going to ride, but she's in this together. So we're partners in this, right? So we're going to sign our names to it. It's like a, it's like a will, it's like a D, right? So we're going to sign our names to this again. Yep, go ahead. All right, so we got those. Now, we got our recreation, we got to a dirt bike. That's one of the things I like, I'm into dirt bikes. So we're gonna go ahead and pin this bad boy to this under our 10K budget. What's the next thing? We got boats, we got motorhomes. <laughs> Okay, so we got motorhomes. Um, now this can be in the budget of a purchase, but either way, if we want to take off for the complete month and we want to jump in our motorhome, we can use that $10,000 budget for recreation, right? We can go to camping trips, we can do whatever we want, family gatherings. So we're going to take our motorhome, right? And we can use that as far as recreation. It's a recreational vehicle in a sense, unless you live in it, right? So we're going to go ahead and sign our name to that bad boy. Okay, go ahead, Ben. Now, this is our second vision board. I will be putting up my vision board from Friday. Oh, man. Let me see what other comments we got. People started leaving. It's okay, though. I can't see the comments, baby. Oh, here we go. Can you see them? There's not yeah. very many, huh? Hang on. They're old ones. Okay, here we go. All right, so hang on. So we'll get back to it here in a minute. All right, let me see. One, one, one. Are you serious liking, liking your own video? Man, we got a clown in here. Uh, 15K. Oh, 15K is number three, y'all, mill. 2,000, 200,000 a year. Hey, like Jess, what's up? Jess DNA Fit. Yeah, I've been putting it up. I will be cleaning person. I will get to that. I'll be putting up my version vision board. Right on. Great taste and bikes. For sure. All right. So, the next thing on our vision board. We got recreational for basically the motorhome. So, we're going to take the motorhome. We priced this bad boy out. It's a new Myers. It's a 2022 new Air Bend. It's worth $3,000 a month uh, per se on that payment, right? If we want to buy it outright, it would be around a million dollars. So, we're just going to go ahead and put a payment towards it for $3,000 a month. Right? That's part of a recreation. 
All right. All right, the next thing we're going to be looking at is a boat that could be part of the recreation as well. All right, the 2022 Mastercraft XTU2. Um, it talks about the original price, how much it is a month. And uh, believe it or not, these boats are really expensive a month. I priced them out. And they're looking at about with insurance on the boat, it's about three grand a month on this boat. So three grand a month on that boat. So that's another part of the recreation, stuff we like to do for fun. It's going to go on our vision board. All right, we already signed it. Did we ever sign it? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Not the boat. Oh, we didn't sign this yet. All right. All right, perfect. All right, so we got the vision board. We got the boat going on the vision board. 100%. Beautiful stuff. All right, so other recreation. You know, we can call this recreation or whatever, but it's still going to come out of the recreation budget. Um, it's vehicles, right? Did you get your vehicle in here? No, I forgot. Well, she hasn't got her vehicle on here yet, but I got I the, the, this new 2022 Ford Lerat, right? New Ford Lerat, have the information on the top so I know actually what I'm thinking about. When I think about it, I can visualize it. I can visualize the price of how much it costs or how much per month and how much the, the car costs, the WRX STI, right? Um, so this is going to be basically going on the vision board and recreation. It can be under vehicles and all that stuff, but for the most part, we're keeping it simple, right? So recreation. Oh, we gotta sign it. Sign both of them. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and put these bad boys up. Right next. Man, we got some. Man, I'd be a hater. And he he jumped in on here. He's like, you're liking your own videos. Oh no, we're making our own videos. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put him up. He just hating because he doesn't get nobody on his videos at all. You don't have to flash money to get viewers. All right, so Super Blue 2022 Super WRX STI got that going on the wall. All right, so that's pretty much all the toys we have for now. Um, you know, we just want to kind of keep it simple, but as we keep going, we'll build on our toys and recreation right some now we're going to be about travel because we really want to travel around the world we want to travel all over the place so we chose a few places right okay not only want to travel the world but i want to help change the world right so we're definitely going to we're definitely going to travel the world all right yes it's flat we're going to travel that bad boy and we're going to travel the world so what we're going to do that's our plan right so that's going to be in our vision board is to travel the world now, with that being said, we've got to get more specific, right? So we're going to break it down on different places of the world as well. You know, then we're going to add to our bucket list or our vision board. All right? So we're going to travel the world. 200000 per year. Let me see. We've got over here. Yes, Ford, you need a truck and a trailer to pull the boat. Yes, indeed. My vision to leave and see a corporate. Yes, indeed, man. I love this. All right, good job. Good stuff, guys. 100%. So this is just an idea, you know, we're going to be running through this stuff and give you guys more ideas. But, you know, travel in the world, um, and we have a budget in there for travel, okay? So, travel each year. Vacation. Yep, vacations. So we have, for travel each year, because we want to take at least two vacations a year. And we figure each vacation is going to cost around 20 grand to take the vacation, right? And we figure we could travel the world by the time we die, we take two vacations, three vacations a year. Right, and so with that being said, we put a vacation mark at 40k per year. So we take two vacations per year, right? And we're going to basically go tra travel the world and we get specific on that. So let's go ahead and sign into that. And this right here is travel in the world. All right, super powerful stuff. This stuff's good stuff, guys. Gotta make sure we get our earth right away because it's flat. We don't want to have like an upside down dome. All right. Bam. We're going to travel the world, baby. Okay. All right. So, in the places that we're going to go in the world, right? We want to go. Where was this restaurant? Um, I don't remember where that one was. Okay. Was so, we want to go for Franguin, China, right? There's a restaurant. Where's the restaurant? Right. On the side of the cliff? Right here. Yep. So, in China, it's uh, Fangwen, China, right? So, basically, there's a restaurant on the side of this mountain inside the mountain and it was like one of the most un like uniquest restaurants in the world about the top five or so in the world right so it's in china and so that's one of the places we want to definitely hit it's on our map right we thought we thought a lot of we saw a lot of stuff in there 
in, Ch in the uh, Chinese culture, actually, it's pretty nice. So, sign that one, babe. Oh, yeah, we got to sign it. Mm -hmm. This vacation one, too. Okay. So, vacation 40K a year, and that's gonna be how much we have to spend on our vacation. 40K a year. All right. Now, let me see here. I could probably move this camera over a little bit more. There we go. All right, so 40K a year, we got Penguin China. That's where we're gonna travel in the world. We can add to this at any time, too. Right. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, we want to travel Amsterdam. We go check out the smoke shops over there. Check out the red light district, if you will. Right. So that's what we want to check out is Amsterdam. Right. Go ahead and sign our name to it. This is a super simple process, you guys. You know, um, all we're doing is making a vision board. And I'm sorry I haven't been checking the comments. Let me see here. Let me go back real quick, guys. Okay. My thumbs there. Okay. You need a truck for sure. Yes, I have yet to take a vacation, boss. I'm glad I found your TikTok. I'm ready to leave the nine five. You're in the right spot, bro. We're building a vision board um, based on a $2 million budget. Uh, that's what I want to make a year. Not $2 million budget, but we're building a vision board based off of $2 million uh, salary. Not that I'm making that now. I'm not even close. But within the next two years, that's what I, I plan to achieve. Uh, and so we just got to keep our, our dreams big, man. It, it works out. All right. And so we got the restaurant. Do we have any more restaurants? Yes, we have. Okay. We got to get the name of this one. I think it, this is in uh, Australia, I believe. If you guys want to correct me, um, we ha I had it written down. I just didn't print it out. But it's an underwater restaurant, okay? It's an underwater restaurant somewhere maybe in China. I'm not China, but Australia, I think. If you guys want to correct me if I'm wrong, but we've looked at a lot of places. So we're going to go ahead and sign our names to this. All right. Hey, and I appreciate you jumping on my live, man. I appreciate you guys sharing, uh, you know, all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and put Amsterdam up there because it's part of our vision board. That's part of our travel. All right? That's our travel. And then right here is the Australia. We signed our name to it. We're going to go ahead and put that bad boy over here. We can stick it right there for travel. All right. What's next, baby? All right, so now we're thinking about that. We're thinking about that. Okay, now the next thing we were talking about. You want to play this movie plan? Okay. So, being that houses in Montana are astronomically expensive, right? So, the market value on this house right now is at like $6 million, okay? $6 million. But before all of this, this, this craziness happened with, with, the, the, with money, the, the housing market, it went inflated. Montana got hit hard because everyone wants to come here. So, this house that was six or $2.5 million is now $6 million where it sits, Right, and so we're just hoping for a huge crash, yeah. right? So we're, waking, we're we're hoping for a crash to hit the market, right? So we're gonna manifest this crash, right? Boom, 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 and then the market crashes. We buy this home again at two million five hundred thousand dollars, if not less. So that's in our vision. We're gonna go ahead and sound that bad boy real quick because we're gonna get this house right here at two hundred or two million dollars, not six point five. Or how are dreams? I, I, I visualize, I see this stuff, I dream it, I speak it, I love it. And this stuff works, guys. Vision boards are powerful. If you guys are new to my live, my name is Eric Forner. I, I work from home. Um, I don't do this all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, I do it every night. <laughs> but, I'm bumped. but either way, um, I've never really worked online in my life. I'm 41 years old, I work construction, and I never went on a vacation truly until this year and went home to back, back home to Vegas, right? Um, the only vacation that I've done before this was like vacations to prison. Uh, and that shit didn't work out very well. But now it's a little bit better because I don't drink no more. All right, we signed our name to it. We're going to go ahead and put this under the home, right? We want that bad boy to crash. See now how, see how we can add to our vision board? You know, we didn't do one specific topic. We came across, okay, we want this bad boy to crash. You know, if the market was good and then all of a sudden we had our vision board up there and all of a sudden the market went crazy and the houses went up, we could put this on our vision board to manifest it to come back down, right? 
All right, so you guys were talking about cleaners, right? We need cleaners to clean <laughs> our, our home, right? Our two and a half million dollar home. So yes, we got cleaners. Right? We got a maid crew. I got a whole crew. We got a whole crew. She got a crew, but we have a, we have a budget for this, okay? So she might have to do some work. Okay, we have a budget for this. It's but a big house. I mean, it's a big house. Yes, it team. is. Okay, we're going to sign our, 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 to the maid crew for this. And we also have landscaping. Oh, yeah, we got that next. So we got that next. Let's sign our name to the, the maid crew. That's going to be coming in. Uh, 12, 22, 21. All right, maid crew's going on the board right here. We'll go ahead and stack it. Pow, May crew. All right, we have to have a gym, right? Because I love to work out. We're actually paying for a membership right now, and we haven't used it in the last three months or a long time, right? Since I got my knee surgery. Got her, she, her knee surgery, got my knee surgery, so we haven't really haven't had a gym, but it'd be so nice to have something at home, right? So we're going to definitely have our home gym, right? That's going to be in one of, the, one of the rooms. So this is something that we win our lives. We want to manifest a home gym in our new place, right? And so we're going to go ahead and sign our names to this. All right, home gym it is. That's going on the vision board. All right, we're gonna have a gym on there. These ones next, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, so we need groundskeepers, right? We need a pool boy, right? So we're gonna have a big pool here, right? And I, she's like, you know what? I need a pool boy, Eric. I need a pool boy that's in a thong or something like that. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, man. So we found this picture right here. We found the lawnmower guy. I had picked some pictures. Eric fixed them. So I fixed them, right? Because her pool guy looked a little bit more sexy than me, I guess. So I put so I put my picture so I put my picture on there, right? So that's the lawnmower guy. He's gonna be mowing our lawn from this point forward, right? And this right here is our pool guy, right? With my face again, right? He's gonna be our pool guy, right? And so that's how that's gonna work. I'm just saying. No, but we might get her one. You know, we might get her a pool boy. You know what I mean? I might be on vacation a lot too. But hold on, we gotta sign. Them. Oh, we gotta sign the pool boys. We gotta sign them. I have yet to take an underwater underwater restaurants would freak me out. Oh uh, yeah, Tammy loved that. Jerry, hey, that was the picture. That was that wasn't actually me. I I, I edited this. Okay, <laughs> look at these pictures. These are not me. I just I edited these because my wife wanted a gardener for our big home, and then and she wanted a pool boy. So actually, I took the face off. See, I took the face off <laughs> and switched it out on both of them. So, um, anyway, we made it as a joke because, anyway, it's a good manifestation, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to put these up here um, for our gardeners, our pool boy. All right, it's starting to come together, guys. We're going to add to this bad boy, too, and come up with things. All right, so... Um, let's go back here. Investment taxes, general operations, bills and insurance. Where is our groundskeeper? Major right here. Okay, so we set aside $2,500 a month for groundskeepers and maids. So that's what we set aside for that. And we're going to get more specific uh, on you know, the little things, right? We're not trying to nitpick this whole thing at first. But as we sit here, or I sit in my office, I could be like, oh, you know what? That will go perfect with this trip. You know, oh, you know what? That would go perfect with this, right? So we'll just keep adding to it. And then you'll see just craziness going on, right? So we're going to go ahead and sign our names to this bad boy. Okay. All right, so groundskeeper. So we're going to put these guys right here. What? Hang on. Let's, let's move this down a little bit. So we'll go right here. Maid groundkeeper. And then we'll go home gym. Or we go to these guys here. You can see that? Oh, the picture? Yep. Put these guys right here. Because those are part of our groundskeeper. Right? And then uh, the home gym will go below that. All right, so moving right along. All right, so Jessica, okay, so. <laughs> all right, so here's Jessica's manifestations, right? Yeah. So she got, you want to tell them? All right, so here's one of Jessica's, right? It says, use your talent, everybody has one, in any way you can. Don't keep it for yourself like a miser. 
Send it like a millionaire, right? So the basic about this is use your talents. Everybody has talents and Jessica has talents and she's just trying to discover them, right? So she's trying to break, like her being on camera right now and doing this right now is a huge thing right now for her. Uh, she did not want to do this and she's seen that I wouldn't, wanted her to actually help with this. And so she took it upon herself to step out of her comfort zone to actually get on this camera right now with me tonight. Uh, when she never does, right? It's her big, big, it's one of those things, right? A lot of people are afraid of this thing. But either way, she wants to get better at her talents. All right? So I'll go ahead and sign up. I'm down, I'm down with that. I'm going to manifest that. I'm going to help her with that problem. I'm going to help her with that. I'm going to help her overcome these fears. I'm going to help her with her talents. Um, if, it's, if it's buying a training that she needs for her, what is it called? It's herbalist. The herbalist Apothecary. stuff, yes. She likes herbal. She likes herbs. Apothecary. Yeah, so she likes herbs. So... We're just going to put this anywhere in the, in the thing. So where do you want to put this under? Mm -hmm. and this we under... got this other one. Um, these ones too that we kind of go. All right. So we're going to do these at the same time. Okay. So we're going we're gonna, gonna to read these out. That one's for your dirt bike. Remember? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? We got to... Oh, yeah. So we got to talk about this one. So with, with the dirt bike, we need a dirt bike track. So we're going to have a dirt bike track built at the house. Camden really wanted the track. So my son really wanted the dirt bike track because, uh, you know, we have obviously dirt bikes. I mean, he hasn't picked out his dirt bike yet, but um, we're going to have a dirt bike track. Perfect. All right. So we're going to put a dirt bike track on there, too, for the dirt bikes. All right. Next thing. Um... She wants to manifest the family, right? This is the family that we have right now. This is our family. And so this is going to be us into the future forever, right? This is me, her, me, my wife, and my son. And so with that being said, this is what we want. She wants to manifest this into the future. This is something she came up with. It came out of her ideas, which is super beautiful, super powerful, right? So she's going to manifest this up into the $2 million range, into all of this lifestyle. She's been with me and she's been a soldier. My wife has been this whole entire time. All right. When I work 60, 70 hours a week and still, still do my side hustle, she's been there. Super powerful. All right. So we're going to put this up here. If we can, we'll put it right here. Got work, babe? Yeah. Okay. We'll put it right here for you. Damn it. Oh, she wants to stick now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right, there we go. All right. All right, so. And then she has another thing she made today on Canva. Um, it says, Eric and Jess, manifest your dreams, right? And it has like planes, cars, uh, stuff like that on it. Canva was really fun. Yeah, she just learned how to do Canva today. So this is what she wants to manifest. All right, super powerful. This is our future, guys. We're trying to manifest our future. Vision boards are for anybody. Um, I had a lot of questions. I've been telling people I wanted to do a vision board live um, just to help you guys. So this is our second vision board we've done. Um, the first one, to tell you the truth, I got mad I tore it up because I was crashing in my business. And at that time, I wanted to quit, and I didn't. I mean, glad thing, good thing I didn't because I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And, but putting everything on that vision board came true. All right, so... All right, go ahead and sign it. Next one she has is self-love. It's, it's about loving herself. She wants to be able to love herself more, right? That's one of the things that we probably don't do as individuals is love ourselves enough. And the one thing that she wants to do is love herself more, to feel that confidence, to feel that, to overcome those fears, right? And so it says self-love is a, is, is a conscious choice, not a magical feeling that appears to you one day. It's a, it's a commitment to your boundaries, your well-being, your mental health, and emotional health your body, all right? So absolutely, she wants to manifest this is about self-love, loving herself more, right? She wants to manifest this. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign to that. If you guys are finding value out of this, I appreciate you guys you know, liking it, sharing it, whatever, um, so I don't have to like my own videos or whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah. This one too. I mean, we did this but yeah, if you guys are finding value, put a one in here, or you know, if you guys, if you guys have any questions, I'll go through it at the end. But we're gonna go a little quicker here. Those all right, all signed right there. Uh, these are all signed. Bam, bam, bam. So we're gonna put these up here, and we can put all this up right here. Would that work for you? Yes. 
Bam. Bam. And this one. Bam. All right. Perfect. This goes along with all that. All right. All right, so let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, patience. She has a lot of patience. I need to learn patience. I need to manifest patience in my life. That's one thing I don't have a lot of is patience. And that's, you know, maybe a problem for a lot of people, but I'm going to manifest more patience, and I'm sure she does too. Right? Patience with each other. Patience with everything. So we're manifesting this bad boy. All right, so patience is going to go up here. Hmm. All right, next thing, what's this? That's my herb thing. Okay, so she wants to be an herbalist. What is it called? It's apothecary. Apothecary. So she like, is an apothecary. So she likes the herbs. She likes growing plants. She likes the home care kind of stuff rather than Western medicine, I guess you could say. She likes natural stuff. So she wants to learn more about this. She wants to become... One, you know, apothecaries. An herbalist. An herbalist. Okay, so that's what her role is. She does not. Lo she no longer works a job no more. So, uh, she actually quit her job. She had knee surgery. I told her she didn't have to go back to work if she didn't want to. And so basically, she retired at forty years old in a sense. So now she's going to take on one of her dreams, which is you know a little more about herbs and stuff like that. So that's another one. All right, I'm going to be an herbalist. So where am I put this, baby? We gotta put this on your side over here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah that works right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, next thing is we're gonna go through different adventures where we wanna visit. All right. Let me see here. All right, visit. What's this? This one. That's, that's the doggy one. All right, perfect. Okay, so there's one thing, uh, you know, this is whatever. So, I have never been a real romantic person, right? I haven't been, right? I didn't get touched a lot when I was a kid. Like, it's by before my mom and dad, like, they were separated when I was younger, so I was bounced around from a lot of places. And so, one thing I don't know how to do really is romance and, like, a lot of compassion things. So, she wants to manifest more romance, right, from me. So, I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and sign it. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me see the video. Just might need a greenhouse. Why did you feel like you wanted to quit? Why did I feel like I wanted to quit? Um, because I was hitting these roadblocks. I didn't feel like I was making money like you know, fast enough. I didn't have the proper training. Like There's just a lot of things going down. Um, and then I finally found the proper training. And then at that point in my life, like I was wanting more money. I found the proper training. I seen some commissions coming in. But it seemed like it got so overwhelming. And I sat down at my desk and I didn't know what to do next. Right? And so I felt like quitting. I just felt like giving up. Um, there's a lot of work. It took a lot of, it was just, it was, it was rough working the hours I did and, and just, just everything I put into it because I put a lot into everything I do. And it's one of those, those value despairs that people talk about, you know, um, and it happens with every entrepreneur. You know, it's not how you fall, it's when you fall forward. And so in that instance, I completely fell backwards. Um, and I, since then I've dusted myself off. Now I'm, I've learned to fall forward more often. Not that I say I don't fall backwards, but I still fall. And, you know, one thing I need to get more in my life is more romance, for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up there after you signed it. All right, next thing we're going to put on here. All right, so adventures. We live in the great state of Montana, but we actually want to go visit the whole entire Montana because it's so beautiful, right? So Montana is really beautiful uh, as far as the state. We actually want to go and visit the whole entire thing, check out all of the monuments, just everything that's here. These are in our area. All right. Like this one is in Lincoln okay. County. And then this one right here, this is this is Lincoln County. This is where we live. I think Tammy will like that. She likes that stuff. Right. Tammy might like this. But this is where we live. This is actually not too far from our house. That's way up in the mountains. Yeah. Like, yep. It's a hike. It's a hike. So more adventure. We want to go on more trips, more hiking. More stuff like that. We want to manifest that in our lives, right? That's what comes with being your own boss, working from home, and trying to become financially free. All right. Go ahead and sign our name to this guy. And a date. So, as you see, the vision board's coming together. 
Um, you know, and I'm gonna sit here at my office desk. I'm gonna look at this every day, and that's gonna be my why. This is my why. You know, this is part of my why. Family. You know, the the things I've never had in life. You know, the trips that I can take my family on. So as I sit here at my desk, I can literally come in here and look every day when I'm in my on my office and look at the why. You know, when my wife wants to come in, she can look at the why as well. And so, you know, these are our whys. If you guys aren't part of my Facebook group, it's Passive Income Blueprints. Um, it's a great community. I do a lot of teaching and educate inside there. Um, we teach you how to actually work online um, and make it duplicatable so where you can actually teach other people to do the same. All right, so this is going to be under trips, yeah? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Let me see a pin. Thank you. All right. Tammy said you're gonna need a greenhouse. Yes, she's gonna get a greenhouse. I am gonna need a greenhouse. Yes, indeed. Vacation right here. Adventure. Awesome. All right, so what do we got here? All right. So let's go by the gym. Oh yeah. So Jessica really wants to work on her butt, right? She wants to get back into shape. And so she, her goal to manifest is a better booty. It was hard with my knee all messed up. Yeah, it's hard with her knee all messed up, but she's trying to get back into it. So she wants to manifest a better butt. It's my booty goals. It's her booty goals, all right? That's what they are, booty goals. <laughs> Oops. Do you hear that? 12, 21, 22, 22 21. 21. All right. Two, two, I'm done with that. To do, to do it. All right. Booty goals. Perfect. All right. Hey, brother, how you doing, man, Willie? That gives me hope. I want a lot of good hours, too. Yes, you know, and then I just want you guys to learn from me. If you guys get in that position where you're going to feel like you want to quit your business or anything like that, just learn from me and tr learn how to fall forward, you know. Um, and I try to encourage as much as I possibly can each every night I come live. But either way, um, try to fall forward, you know. That one is about the dogs coming on trips with us. They need to walk on a leash. Oh yeah, so basically our dogs don't know how to walk on a leash very well, so she manifested a dog, a good dog trainer. So she wants to get a good dog trainer. We should put our dogs on there. Oh yeah, should use their picture, huh? So we'll, we'll put that on the next one. Okay, perfect. All right, awesome, dog. Got the dog going up there. <coughs> Excellent. All right. So Jessica wants to become a painter. I want to learn to paint. She wants to learn to paint, <laughs> right? Another Bob Ross. No. She wants to learn how to paint. So Jessica's going to learn how to paint. Bob Ross one. is a good painter. So these are things you guys should throw in your vision board, right? These are, I'm just, we're doing this to give you guys ideas. Um, you, know, you know, when you sit down and maybe learn how to, you know, try to think how to make a vision board, and you're like, I don't even know what to do or what to put down. You know, get creative, get crazy, you know, these are, these are goals, these are things that you want to accomplish. Put it on paper, sign your name to it, make it happen, right? That's what it's all about. Absolutely. All right. Painting. All right, and then we never had a proper wedding because we got married when I was in prison, uh, right? He wasn't even there. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't even there when we got married, actually. Um, somebody actually stood in for me while, while I got married. So she wants to have like a hippie wedding, and this is going to manifest. So that's going to be her gown is what she wants to manifest. All right, and then this is our wedding of our dreams. So that's what we're gonna shoot one is a wedding of our dreams. And that's what we're gonna be shooting for. Alright. Alright. 
excellent. All right. Okay. So, let me do this one next. Okay, so, let me break this down for you guys. This might help you guys as well. Oh, yeah. We got, okay, our food budget for each month is 5K. Forgot to put it up there. So, that's going to be our food budget. If we don't use it all, that can be eating out, chefs, cooks, whatever, you know, whatever we want to do. But 5K a month is going to go for eating out. And, if we, again, whatever we don't use on our, rec our budgets for, like, recreation and eating out, it's just going to carry over to the next month and be invested. So... We'll put it right here, 5K per month. On eating, all right. We got 20K per month on toys. So all of our toys are gonna to cost about 20K a month total. So recreation, toys, recreation and toys together, I guess we'll call that. We have to put, when we put the trim up, we're gonna move that stuff probably, or behind it. All right, and so the way that I run my business currently, and we have bills and insurance too. Okay, so basically when I have money come into my accounts because I make more than one stream of income, right? Um, as soon as money comes into my account, automatically out the top, 30% is going to go to taxes. Okay, so any money I have coming in, is 30% is going to go to taxes. Then, we're going to pay ourselves first, right? So, we're going to put 20% of our monthly income or weekly or daily income, we're going to put 20% inside of our general account, just for general expenses, whatever. We're going to invest 20%, right? So, this is going to add a total of 100%. We're going to invest 20% of our money. And then we're going to give 10% away to charity, each month, each time I get paid, whatever, we put it into a fund. We give away for charity. So the more you give, the more you get back kind of thing, right? Then to run the business, take about 20% operations. So operations, as 20% of my wages come out or our wages is going to come out. It's going to go to operations. All right? And so with that being said, that's a total of 30, 50, and another 50 percent is 100 percent of our, our total wages right so let's go ahead and get crafty on this all right three percent of taxes All right. And then we got for insurance and bills each month, just, you know, whatever bills, we may, small bills we may have, phone, cell phone, all that stuff, insurance, we're putting 20K uh, per month towards that. Uh, if it's more or less, I mean, then we're going to actually carry that over as well. All right. So I already know these, right? We're going to stack them all together. This is what we do anyway, right? Yeah. Invest. So we're going to take all of this stuff here. We're going to put it up here like that. And then our insurance and bills each month, it's 20K. So one more. And then we'll put this right here. Perfect. All right. And then we got a few. Um, another one she found is, uh, I will never stop until my dreams become a reality. Right? We're manifesting this. I will not stop until my dreams become a reality. Or our dreams will become a reality. All right. And last but not least... Here's some signs that you will become a millionaire. Number one, you talk about ideas, not people. 
Number two, you focus more on making money than saving it. Number three, you're strong-minded. Number four, you're determined. Number five, you know what customers want. And number six, you have big goals. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and sign our names to this bad boy. I'm gonna go ahead and pin this up there. And we'll go ahead and put it right here. Oh yeah, and I forgot the bottom part, so you didn't cut it off. Right. I thought it was one picture. No. Scissors or the so we didn't cut this one off actually. So there's actually two parts of this. You can take the parents in the house too. Yeah. Um, and then this is just going to show basically our future from 2020, 23, 24, 25, 26, all the way into the future. So it's going to show our future from 22 to all the way to infinity, right? So we're going to manifest this into the future. I think that was it with that. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and keep you guys on, on TikTok for just a few seconds longer. Um, but other than that, I was recording over here. I hope you guys found value out of this video. If you guys did, feel free to leave a comment below. You guys have a blessed day. All right.